So you know what misinformation and disinformation is, and you now have a couple of tools that will help you spot and verify whether what you're looking at, what's in front of you, what's on your screen, is actually true or false. But one of the most powerful tools that have been used to mislead is the picture. You know why? Because images can convey multiple layers of information in a single snapshot, much more than any words could convey. So here are a couple of tips on how to be able to spot fake images and how to be able to verify them for yourself and for your friends. So let's take a basic example, one that I've seen from my line of work. In the year 2021, a group of activists who had got together to halt proposed changes to the constitution of Kenya were targets of a manipulated image. And here's how it happened. In that image that was shared very widely and very publicly, they were purported to have been sitting in a meeting with a close associate of the then deputy president, someone who had been very vocal about not wanting those changes to the constitution and therefore naturally would have been seen as an ally. The message in the caption to that picture purported to claim that those people were being funded by the deputy president. And here's how we found out that this indeed was fake. And this is how you can do it as well. Take this image. Take a close-up look at this image. Look at the faces of the individuals in that image. Crop out one, at least, of the faces from that image. Do a Google uh, reverse search of that image and you'll be able to find the original image of that face and the body that it was attached to. And there you have it. You have something that was manipulated to show or convey a completely different meaning than the actual image was intended to do so. So what they did was they combined two or three or multiple images into one complete picture. They took a stock image of people meeting in a boardroom and then took different pictures of these activists and that associate of the deputy president, put them together, superimposed them, onto that um, stock image and came up with something that became viral fake news content. 